What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. Welcome out all you great decoders around the world, both male and female. My name is Logan and this is Decode Your Reality and today we're going to be breaking down the blood. That's right, the bloodline decoded and just when I didn't think I could come up with a better decode. I have so many favorites of mine. But ladies and gentlemen, this material that I am about to present to all of you is the deepest material I have ever shown on my Decode Your Reality channel. The deepest. It's the most thought-provoking um, and it is the most connected. Many of you have been waiting for this topic to come out. Got a lot of activity on this. Where are we from? Where's our bloodlines from? Where do we come from? Well, I'm about to show all that. So, you know, get strapped in. This is going to be, you know, I have a lot of slides, a lot of material. You know, throw on a pair of headphones, I suggest. Really block out the outside world. Get immersed in this presentation. This one is really going to blow your mind. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here are the topics for this presentation. In the zero position, the intro, of course, is what I'm doing now. Always want to include the zero. Number one, the star is born. That's all of you. Number two, the topic, bloodline. Where are we from? Number three, blood box. Number four, Japan. And number five, the letter O. And I do have what, you know, what do you see? But the letter O, what does that mean? So let's start getting into this presentation now ladies and gentlemen the first topic the star is born and that's all of you and when the star is born it's about the number 17 if you're an 80s uh rock fan like myself winger had a song that came out that was called 17 i could have added that in here how those guys are being used but nonetheless the word 17 why 17 because it's the star card and we're all stars born from the stars we come down to earth to experience this game called life the word earth is 17 in numerology the word heart is 17 in numerology we come to earth and we become stars rock star movie star etc etc and so we know that the 17 is very valuable because it's tied right into the chakras the 17 through the pure aspects of mathematics is the seventh prime number. Seven is tied to the seven chakras that are, you know, so heavily talked about in our world of the metaphysical. These seven energy centers from the root to the crown. So there you have it. And we're the stars inside the body. And the 17 is the 43. And the 43 is also a prime number. It's the 14th prime number. And here's the big clue and why I have this red box wrapped around the chakras because 
When you're born into this reality called life, you get stuck in the box. There you have it. So 17 tied to the seven, tied to the seven chakras. 17 when you say it, numerology. And again, those of you that are new, thanks for coming on, but you're gonna notice I'm strictly using Chaldean. You don't have to use any other cipher to figure this out. This is why I favored this Chaldean. It's the closest to the source code. I'm gonna support that throughout this presentation. You're gonna see it with your own two eyes, those of you that are new. Those of you that are returning, thank you very much for your support. A lot of you are embedded into this decode, by the way. But there, there's the 43rd card in the deck, in the tarot. Now I'm using, I just wanna digress, I'm using the, once again, I'm using the most popular fool card being in the zero and the 22nd uh, position right here, zero and 22. If you want these graphics, just send me an email, decodeyourreality at gmail.com and I'll send them to you. But this is the spread I'm gonna be using throughout this presentation. There are several other spreads to use, but here's the 43rd card in the deck and it's the seven of cups. This is the card of the great illusion. What are we living in in this reality? It's all about illusions, simulation. That's what this whole reality is all about. And are we just living inside of a lucid dream? Are we just inside of the dream of the cosmos? I think so. But the star card is tied to the seven of cups. And I mean, it's right, it's all right here, 17 and 43, it's all right there. You could see this and we get stuck in the box when we become a human. Hue is light, H-U-E, human. It's light slowed down. And we become Jack stuck in the box. If you're a female, you'll be Jill. So we bring some Alistair Crowley into this and his deck. Thanks Flynn for kind of reviving my, my Crowley decks. I haven't really used it, but there's value in his, uh, his um, graphics and what he put us on his card. He's got Hebrew here, obviously. What's really fascinating about this, let me zoom in, is on the 17th card, the star card, he's got this Hebrew initial and this is the hey. The Yod Hey Va Hey. This is clearly to me telling us that it is the God that runs this reality coming down here and becoming man, becoming all of us. It becomes a star. And this is where you're gonna get the fallen angel story from. And is it really angels that disobeyed, or is it just the architect or architects coming down to experience its own game? That's what I think is going on. But you gotta make the decision on that. But there's the hey, Yod Hey, which is the five five is man the pentagram and it's all it's all right there and so the star is born is 44 and 44 is a huge number because it's tied to this word right or this statement right here called man in the box again st strictly using the chaldean and when we get stuck in the box we come down here we play out life this is the you know the square uh squaring the circle we live on the circle here it is it's pi and it's duality and it's forever spinning. And we're, 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 this is the animation, you know, and it's scary. It can get scary down here, but we get stuck in the box. And I have uh, some Alice in Chains, how they were being used to deliver the music, to, to, to allow you to listen to it through the music. If you're a fan of Alice in Chains, the great Seattle band from the, the 90s primarily, but they're still, still going, Jerry Cantrell and company, but there it is, there's the connecting point. We, we're, we're born into the box, which is Pandora's box, and then we have to live out this life through duality, and you're born into blood. And so it gets really interesting because this man in the box, which is you, which is me, is tied to the 100. Now, if you've never seen this show, Please check it out. It's on Netflix right now. Thank you, Netflix. CW for coming out. All the actors and actresses playing out these characters. It's just a fractal down. But the whole thing was about these. They were, they were prisoners and they were on this ark in space. Earth was uninhabitable because there was radioactivity. And they were the first ones sent down to Earth to make sure it was inhabitable, which it was. And so the story, it's a great show. But it tells you a lot about perhaps our origins and being casted down here to earth and you can clearly see the connections the 100 is tied to the 44th element on the periodic table called ruthenium or ruthenium and it's isotope is 101 and in science by the way these atomic weights will get rounded up 
if you're using proper math with the decimals. So 100.905 is going to become isotope number 101. And if you take 100 and you add it to 101, you're going to get the number 201. And some of you that are always blaming the Jesuits because it's 201, well, here's part of the reason and the connecting points. It's all part of the script, folks. It is all part of the predestined script. It's all right here, showing you through movies, music, numerology, alchemy. All of it is here connecting. And this isotope 101, when you go to numberempire.com, it's the freaking 26 prime number. And 26, when you go right back to the periodic table, it's this element right here. It's called iron. Iron has 26 protons. 55 is the average weight and the word predestination in numerology equals 55. And this is the abbreviation of FE, which is the Latinized version of spelling of iron, ferium. And I think it means female because Pandora's box is feminine. You get cast down into the box and you become an avatar. I mean, just the subtle clues, the approximated discovery date, 3500 BC, 35 is tied to the word simulation. So it's just, you can see all the subtleties if you know what you're looking for. But there's the big clue, and it's the 100. The 100, it's all right, and it's the man in the box. It's the human, the human beings being put into the box called Earth. And then we get to start, then we get uh, in the position of being used. As I've been showing, and many of you have been showing, a lot of you are not tolerating this. That's fine. Again, I'm not here to force anything on you. I'm just a tour guide. I'm just here to show you the discoveries and the connecting points. But when you do the numerology of this 44th element tied to man in the box, it's the number 38 through numerology. And 38 is a massive number. Not only is it the latitude north of the nation's capital of the United States, Washington, D.C. is 38 degrees north. You think they're running the show? Absolutely not there. They're not running anything. They're just being used. And this is the dead giveaway. It's the red queen right here. It's the queen diamonds card, card number 38. And it was the dead giveaway was going back to 1962, this great movie that came out called The Manchurian Candidate. It starred Frank Sinatra, et cetera, et cetera. It was redone in 2004. If you haven't seen the Denzel Washington remake on this in 2004, it is a must-see, amazing movie. This movie was all about having an implant and being used by the Red Queen. And there's the 33. Ooh, the notorious 33. But this is a big clue telling all of us Perhaps if you side with this, that you're being used, you have an implant in your brain. I, I have so many decodes besides this, but this is just really deep thought provoking research right here. And it's tied to the 44. I mean, gold currency is 44. We're all being used for our currency. We're the man in the box. We're being, and we service the queen. It's the queen bee, the red queen. So that's, that's why they have this queen on here. It was a dead giveaway. And there's the connecting point. You can't, you, you can't unsee this now. So let's keep going. So here's the guy, bottom right. Here's the guy who discovered the 44th element, ruthenium. Karl Karlovich Kloss. It's interesting because his last name is Santa Claus. It's a very similar phonetically. He's got the KKK. But he was the guy who they gave the nod for the discovery. And... Lo and behold, January 23rd, here, here's, this is how ridiculously scripted this reality is. All these birthdays have cards associated with them. I hope by now you've, you know what your cards are, but January 23rd, let's be really transparent. Here's the boilerplate chart for the cards of illumination, the 52 cards matching the 52 weeks, four suits and four seasons. Here's January, and then you come down to the 23, and there's the 23. It's the four diamonds card for this guy who discovered ruthenium. He's got the 30th card in the deck. 30 is tied to the demiurge. The word demiurge equals 30. The word Jehovah equals 30. The word Santa Claus equals 30. All in the Chaldean. 
And what's really interesting is the premiere of the 100 was on March 19th. Well, guess what the March 19th card is? Well, let's go look. Here we go. Here's March. And then we come down to the 19. There it is. It's the four diamonds card. A direct match to this guy who discovered Ruth and Neum, And there's the 100 stuck right inside that box. Stuck right inside that box right there. And there you have it. There's the connecting point. See how ridiculously scripted this reality is? I mean, he's got the 53 tied to the I. I am that I am. The I. The all-seeing I. Being, using this guy. Using all the actors and actresses to play out these characters. To show you, perhaps, somewhat of how this reality works. It's just all part of the script. So this was kind of another nail in the coffin for me. And just this, I really, I found this last minute, but, and I, and this is, you know, I have so much, I'm overwhelmed by so much stuff and I, I didn't even see the obvious. His birthday was January 23rd and the word blood is 23. Think about what I'm showing you here, folks. The guy was born on the 23rd, blood equals 23. And this decode's called bloodline. Where did our bloodline start from? Well, the fallen angel story, whether that was real or not, we can't prove any of that. But the story in the script that was written is there because I'm showing it to you, the breakdown of it all. And this guy who discovered the 44th element, which is tied to man in the box, was born on the 23rd, and he's tied to the word blood. <laughs> See how comical this reality is? It's just, it's, it's just, it's just, it's, it's funny to me. And that's no disrespect to anybody who's having hard times, by the way, because I've seen some comments. I see some comments. There's no disrespect to any of you. So we keep going with this. What about the, the days on the calendar between this guy's birthday, January 23rd, and the premiere of the 100? Because you're obviously tied together, the blood and the fallen angel story and the 100. Well, I decided to look it up. Here it is. Thank you, uh, timeanddate.com. Just using the days on the calendar, not the years, because this came out obviously in the, uh, you know, just not too long ago. And this guy was born in 1796. But look at the days on the calendar, 56 days. And then we go right back to alchemy to get the clue. And there it is. It's what, what's in our blood. <laughs> what have we been talking about? This guy is born on the 23rd, tied to the word blood. This guy discovered ruthenium, which is tied to the 100, which is tied to this show, which is tied to man in the box. It's just all part of the comedy. And rem remember, for those of you that have been paying attention, 56 is tied to the words lights, camera, action, because that's what we're living in. We're living in a freaking movie, a soap opera. It's not even real. It's not even real, folks. Even more clues. Here's that 30th card in the deck tied to this. If you're in the United States, you're probably eating here once or twice. Jack in the box. Well, the founding date for Jack in the Box. I did a decode on this. Please check it out. I mean, if you go to my, my channel, and here it is. Here's the founding date of Jack in the Box. February 21st. It's the Jack in the Box card. Four meaning the square, the cube, the box. So you have Jack in the Box, which is telling you that you're in the box. And it's the same day, February 21st. Let me just be really transparent. Here it is, February. You come down to the 21, and there it is. It's the four diamonds card. How about that? They're all connected. They're all connected, all having the 30th card. And then we can't leave out this element right here because it's tied to the light bringer. This is where you're going to get your connections to the devil. Oh, those of you that are, oh, the devil made me do it. Well, folks, you're the devil. You all sin. I mean, in the Bible, it says it, it, your father's the devil. Hello. But it's, it's way beyond just that statement. You can't just say, yeah, that's right. It's the devil and I'm going to worship God and Jesus and it's going to save me. And <laughs> wow. Are you really that indoctrinated at this point? I hope not. But there's the, 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 cue, the clue and phosphorus is tied to loose for the light bringer. It's got an average atomic weight of 30. It's going to round up to 31. That's going to tie to Sirius and soap debt. The Egyptian spelling of Sirius tied to the all seeing eye, tied to the light bringer. But the 15 is the devil card. That's right. Cause so your father's the devil for sure. Cause you're the devil. I'm the devil. That's why you got to be the best little devil you can be. You can't take life so serious. 
So let's get into the devil card, right? Let's. This is how powerful the tarot is. People get this card and they get freaked out. What does that mean? Oh, the devil card. It's not what you think it means, but there are the chains keeping you bound to this earth, keeping you a primal being, keeping you an animal. Got to rise above that. Well, here's the breakdown of the word phosphorus through the Greek where it came from. And there's the numerology of it. And here's the clue just to solidify about man being used. The devil running mankind. 163 is the 38th prime number, which goes right back to that red queen. As I showed with the Manchurian candidate and the implant in the brain, a little voice in your head that owns you. Just got to start talking to it, listening to it. And the 38th card in the deck, the queen diamonds, the red queen is going to be located in the tarot and attached and it becomes the queen of pentacles. And it's the 77th card in the deck. And here's the dead giveaway again. You go back to alchemy, the bridge. Alchemy is a bridge. We're made up a lot of these elements. And you get into the 77th element. It's called iridium. And iridium is tied to the rainbow goddess called Iris. Rainbow meaning the color of light. So you go right back to Lucifer. What is Lucifer known as? The light bringer. What does light have in it? The colors of the freaking rainbow. You go to this iridium. And here it is, right here, just so we can, just so you can see it for your own two eyes. There it is. And you even have the dragonfly. The great dragon was hurled down. You even have that story into the script right there. And it's the Greek goddess of the rainbow, Iris. And folks, what is the Iris of your eye? It's the colored part of your eye. And then you got the black sun in the middle. That's your little devil. And those can, those can deceive you. But there's the connecting point. You can't, you can't unsee this now. And the connecting points of where our origins are coming from and what we're, le we're being led to here at this point. You know, it's just, it becomes very easy to see where, where, where our origins are. So let's get a little bit more breakdown of this devil card. This is the eerie, scary devil card, card number 15. And, you know, the letter O is the 15th letter. And that's going to get into our blood. It's going to get into our blood because of this element right here called oxygen. See, we breathe oxygen. We breathe nitrogen primarily, 78%, 79% nitrogen. But we breathe 20, 21% oxygen. But oxygen, it oxidizes. So it's the killer. It's the devil. Now, I want to just show you the digression of this really quickly. But first, before I do that, here is phosphorus tied to Lucifer, and then oxygen. And oxygen has an atomic weight of 15, which is going to tie into the O right there. I mean, it's got the O right on the element. And then phosphorus has got the 15 as its protons. So these two are in bed together. And when you take 15 protons with phosphorus and eight protons with oxygen and add it up, that's what you're going to get. Bam! Oxygen-rich cells in the blood, oxygen's in the blood along with iron and that's where hemoglobin comes from and all this stuff you it's all there and the blood ph it's called potential hydrogen it's right there on phosphorus as abbreviation you can't unsee this folks it's right there so you know when you go and you start to study the oxidation oxidation is a process that causes vehicle paint to break down over time maybe this has happened to you maybe you guys have a car that looks like this is called oxidation this is what happens when the sun mixes with oxygen and heat it oxidizes the paint it destroys the paint some of you have cars that look like this maybe so that, that that's the power in this right here knowing that, that that's the devil oxygen oxidization and, you know, if you go eight, you see the blood is very specific. It's at 7.3, 7.4. If you get into the higher realms, you will die. If you get into the low, lower realms, you will die. Well, eight is in the, in the death realm. So you can see that the, the power in this found just from, you know, numerology and the tarot and alchemy and the pH scale. And, you know, the, the word blood. I mean, you, you can't miss this stuff now, folks. You can see. The origins and, and how the devil is tied to Lucifer and the light bringer. Light, sunlight mixed with heat 
oxidizes. That's what weakens the nation, radiation. And it gets into radon and all that stuff. But the, to me, the, the, the devil is the sun. I came out with a decode called the sun devil. Please check it out. Sun devil is 33 in numerology. But the, the devil itself, devil is 19. And the 19th card in the tarot, well, there it is. The dead giveaway. It's the almighty sun. I, I love the sun. I was born on a Sunday. Get out in the sun as much as I can. It's the life bringer, right? But it also can, it can zap you, sunburn, can dehydrate you, can oxidize paint. It can destroy. It's what heat does. So it's a, it's a multifaceted kind of energy. And, you know, what's interesting is, is this where we, I mean, a lot of people think these are portals. I mean, in my decodes of Prison Planet, I showed perhaps how we get in here. The moon, the sun, and the earth. It's the trifecta. Incarnation, reincarnation process. But are we coming from the sun? The fallen angels, if there really were angels that came down and became man or woman, did they come from the sun? Did they come from the moon? These are all things to question. But obviously the 19 is tied to this big word called womb, which is where we all come from. How we're all born into this world. And this is where theology has its say and how it just gets so comical. Jesus says, your father's the devil. Well, hello. Well, you can't miss it right there. That's There's truth there. You're born into sin. Your father's the devil. You're, you got to be the best little devil you can be down here. And the dead giveaway for this, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Bam! Is the, the loop that I have found, the anomaly that I found last year. One of the biggest discoveries of my research career is that in the string of pi, there are three numbers actually there'll be six numbers that loop all together 19 37 46 and 19 is tied to the word battery it's the sons of battery we come from this womb and we're born into this world and i mean look at look how comical this is there, there's the 19 and this is the digits it occupies in the string of pi 37 and 38 well lo and behold here are the here's the clues Connecting the, 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 the dots, it's the Jack and Jill. If you're male, you're the Jack of Diamonds. If you're female, you're the Queen Diamonds. 37 and 38, which is going to give you 75. 75 is tied to Lucifer. The original spelling of Lucifer in the Hebrew is 75, which is going to reduce down to the three. I, and you can't miss this now, folks. Where we come from? The Jack and Jill went up a hill. Jack fell down, broke his crown. I mean, these all these stories are telling us, and they're little subtle clues telling you about this scripted reality. We live inside of a scripted reality, folks. That's it. So let's keep going. Let's get into the second topic. If you're not having, are you having fun yet? I hope so. <laughs> let's get into the bloodline. Where do we come from? I mean, if that didn't blow you away. Well, I found these really cool graphics online. Can't remember where I got them from, but you know, Wikipedia and American Red Cross. But here are the um, the most common blood types. What, what what's your blood type? You should know what your blood type is. Go get your blood tested. Some of you haven't had a blood test for many many years. You don't even know what your health is like. Uh, you can get a blood test, getting all your specs done for even if you don't have insurance, around a hundred bucks, cheap. But it tell the blood is the lifeline. It's sacred. It's your oil. And here's the most common blood types in the U.S. O is the most popular. AB negative is the most rare blood type. Less than 1% of the world AB negative. O positive, I think it's almost 40%. And you can, I mean, you know, what are you? What's your type? And I, I don't really know what to make of these types. Beyond like, well, you know, I think O is the very first blood type that came here to Earth. Whatever that looks like. But there are so many different races and ethnic backgrounds. To think they just started from two people is just, to me, is absolutely, it's ludicrous thinking. But nonetheless, let's keep going. So let's get into this word blood. Where do we come from? Who made our blood? <clears throat> well, it's tied to the 23. In numerology, by the way, 23 is the supposedly the luckiest number on the planet. If you're a numerologist, there's no such thing as luck, but a lot of numerologists, they'll change their name after reading books to get to the number 23. 
Well, I'm going to show you why, why that is and what it's connected to. So we bring it into the string of pi. We get the numerology output, and now I want to bring it into mathematics. And I want to measure that into the string of pi. Now, those of you that are, that are new, I'm using this website right here. It's called sabidium.com right here. And you type in any digit, type in 23, you hit submit, and bam, it's going to give you an outcome. There it is. So those of you that are new, okay? And the 23 occupies two digits. It occupies digits 16 and 17. 17 being the star card. So you now have a connecting point. I didn't even add the 17 in there, but you have a connecting point to the 17. I already went over that. We're all stars here. Well, it's tied right to blood, and then we go right to mathematics. And there it is. And it's also tied to this massive, massive word on the world stage, which I am like so enamored by now. And it's where my research is going. The mighty, the brightest star. Think about it. It's the brightest star in our sky besides, you know, star now, not the sun. The sun's a star, but that comes up during the daytime. But at night, it's serious. Are you serious? Seriously? Think about how many times we use that word. But it's the 16. And how many days of creation were there? One through six. There it is. Six is the third eye chakra. Are we just living in the third eye of the cosmos? I think so. So many clues. And then 16 plus 17 is 33. Again, the Red Queen, going back to that 33. So just so many connections. So we can really start to, and again, folks, see if you're new, just using Chaldean. Don't got to deviate it. When you start adding other ones in, I have a few sprinkled in here. Well, then you start to muddy the waters. Stick with one to get your decodes from. That's just some, you know, suggestions. I'm not saying you have to do that. But if you're a beginner, just use Chaldean. Get your foundation built. But anyway, blood, crown, history, all these big words. What runs the crown? What runs our history? What runs our blood? Do you think there's any separation? Bringing alchemy into this, obviously the 23rd element's going to be vanadium, the big V, tied to the number 22 and the patterns of the sun. But this is the one that I feel is the biggest bomb here. It's sodium, otherwise known as Natrium. The Latinized spelling of sodium is natrium. That's why the NA is there. And there's the, there it is. Blood is 23. Sodium is 23. History and crown. Many other words. We have sodium and salt is important in our, we, it's in our bodily fluids. And even theology, Jesus says, ye are the salt of the earth. Well, yeah, hello. It's in our, the blood. It's tied to us. And this right here is isotope number 23. It's 22.99, but science is going to round this up. And it will be called isotope 23. And bam, there it is. And the 11 is tied to the 24 and the 89, which is tied to Yaldabaoth. I'm going to be getting into that. That's a big deal. But here are some connecting points. This you should really pay attention to now, because this is really important. Obviously, this character right here, born on February 17th, Whoo, how big of a deal, how big of a name, what number was used? Do you think this guy's life was his own? Not, no, not at all. What did he work for? He worked for the crown. Worked for the crown, but the crown works for a boss as well. It's a big Ponzi scheme that we live in, folks. It's a big Ponzi scheme. Okay, it's a Ponzi scheme. It goes all the way to the top and it's run by one source. So when you start to point fingers and blame this, and you, that's cool. Like the shark did it, ate, ate the fish. Okay, great. But there's other layers beyond this. And I want to get to the origin, the true essence of the machinations of this reality. And you're, you're seeing them. And it's tied to this Gnostic demiurge called Yaldabaoth. Right here, a great artist's illustration of it. And it's tied to the star Sirius. And you see, the number 23 in numerology is called the royal star of the lion. And how about that? It's the yin-yang. There it is. It's the yin-yang. That's what we're all playing out down here when you become an avatar and you got blood pumping through you. It's the royal star of the lion. And the royal star of what? The lion. Why do they choose the lion? Well, the lion is 16. Well, <laughs> there's a dead giveaway. So is Yaldabaoth serious or did Yaldabaoth come from serious? I think Sirius is Sophia, the mother of Yaldabaoth. Makes Yaldabaoth the demiurge. 
just like the ancient Gnostic text talks about. And, you know, I mean, there's so many ways to break this down, but this is a very in, big indicator, and the lion in astrology is Leo, and Leo's ruled by the sun. What do you think's behind its head? The sun. The sun. So let's just keep going. So this royal star of the lion being the number 69, the yin-yang, I want to bring it into the tarot and get a picture because we think in pictures. And here's the picture. The 69th card in the deck is the five of pentacles. And what happens when you become a human? Well, a lot of this, suffering, death, inevitability. That's what time does. Time is the devil because over time you will suffer, you will sin, and you will eventually have to face death and hard times. There's going to be exceptions, but I'm going with the majority here. And there's the royal star of the lion telling you. And is, the, is it just the, the, the demiurge coming down here and becoming man or woman? I mean, think about it. If you, made a, if you created Earth, the game called Earth, wouldn't you come down here and play the game? I think, I think everybody would answer, yes, you would. You'd come down and play your own game. Why do you play video games? The people that create these video games, you think they play their own games? Of course they do. So why is it so far-fetched to think that whatever created this reality is not coming down here and playing out its own game? I mean, in the Hinduism tradition, they're talking about all these avatars and Krishna and Vishnu coming down here and becoming man and woman. Christianity's not going to talk about that. But again, that's a different story. But it all leads to the same source. And there's, there's the connecting point. Let's keep going. So it's this Gnostic Demiurge and the title that it also goes by is Yaldabaoth. Notice it starts with the letter Y as in the Yod. And those are, they're one and the same, I think. And the Yaldabaoth character being the 29, you bring that into numberempire.com. Thank you, numberempire.com. What a great website that is. 29 is the 10th prime number. What is the 10th Hebrew letter? The Yod. Then you get into the, 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 the Torah, and then Torah is 19, which is the sun. And that's all about killing. Then you better do what I say or I'm going to kill you. Go kill all those kids. I mean, it's, it's, it's the demiurge, folks, what runs this reality. People want to blame it on the devil. No, that can't be God. Go, go read Isaiah 45, verses 7. If you, if you still fancy all that stuff and you think that's the way out of here, go, you go study that book. But there's the star right there, the royal star. What's the star? Right, It's right there. The star is the 29. You, you can't, and it's just Chaldean, folks. And it's tied to our blood. Okay, so is our father the devil? Yeldabaoth. Is it the Yod? The, the Tetragrammaton? Well, it certainly looks like they're the one and the same. From my observations. So this was a big gem right here. Breaking down the word blood individually. I got the arrow there. Blood is 23774. And when you spell that out and say it through numerology, Chaldean once again, you get another confirmation of how powerful Chaldean is and connecting to the primes in Yaldabaoth because you see the 109 is tied to the 29th prime number. And you go back to the spelling of Yaldabaoth. You, you can't miss this, folks. It's there. It's here. It's there. It's everywhere. It's all here. It's all there. And it's always been there. And no one's trying to mock you or screw you over. They're just trying to tell you the story. You just don't have, you didn't have the eyes to see it. But this, this is pretty crystal clear. And I mean, you know, one, 109 is, is 19. Drop that zero. 19 is the sun card. Look at what, I mean, a lot of these ancient texts have, this is the lion. And the lion is, is Leo, which is ruled by the sun in astrology. You can't get any more crystal clear than this, folks. I'm very passionate about this. That's why I, that's why I get really kind of antsy sometimes in my words. And, but some people don't like the way I present. But anyway, what is this 29 tied to? Well, it's tied to the element copper. And copper is what's in blood that makes it blue for the blue blood, such as horseshoe crabs. Horseshoe crabs have blue blood. 
Why? Because the blood contains copper. And I think the dead giveaway is it's blue blood and red blood. And are there blue blood human beings walking around the planet? I don't know. I've never met one. It's kind of interesting though. I know the blood is red, but I mean, the, the veins, I know it's all about illusions, but you look at your veins and it looks blue to me. Varicose veins, blue. So it's got to be some kind of merit with that. But this copper is a big deal. And it's tied to the Yod. Here's the connecting point straight up with the yod hey, vah, hey. Right there is 63. The most abundant weight of copper is 63. If you put in the W there, some of you get really fickle. Well, it's YHWH. Well, if you do that, it's going to give you 64. And this is isotope 64. So it does not matter. It's going to contain the copper. It's going to link to copper. And the 29 is the 10th prime number. This is the 10th letter in the Hebrew. It's all there, folks. The God of the Bible is Yaldabaoth. Yaldabaoth is the God of the Bible. Make no mistake about it. And, you know, there may be ties to Saturn and, you know, Socalus and all the other names that Yaldabaoth goes by and you get into the Archons and they're all the same. All these origins are going to, I mean, all these archetypes, all these stories to me are just going to lead to the same origin. It's just, it's just, it catches you with the fish hook. If you don't like that, you're going to like this. Oh, you don't like this? I'm going to give you that. Oh, you don't like that? I'm going to give you this. But you're seeing it all now confined and decoded and broken down. And let's just keep going. Here's the actual spelling of the Latinized spelling of copper, cuprum. That's why the abbreviation is CU. Copper's 33, by the way, in numerology, but the Latinized version is cuprum. And there's the 29. Tied to Yaldabaoth. Yaldabaoth's known as the great octopus. The, the Olympics in 2012, I think, were really doing a heavy ritual with the octopus. Not to mock you. They're not doing it to mock you, folks. <laughs> Why do you go do worship stuff? Are you trying to mock anybody? Screw anybody over? No, you're doing your worship. That's what you believe in. So let's keep going with this copper tied to blood. And, you know, this element right here, and the reason why it's called cuprum is because this is tied to where it was found, Cyprus. And there's another dead giveaway again. Now, does it mean we're from Cyprus? Well, maybe, a, uh, maybe an ethnic background is from Cyprus. I don't know. But these are just clues to show you the connecting points and these elements. Remember, this means blue. Copper is, you know, is used in piping. It's an essential element. If you, I have a copper vessel in my refrigerator I drink from, fill it up with water. It's supposed to be healthy for you. But that, I mean, Cyprus is tied to this. I mean, you can't miss it now, ladies and gentlemen. There is the connecting point, the 23. Michael Jordan won the 23. LeBron James won the 23. I mean, they all work for Yaldabaoth, the Yod, the Tetragrammaton, all the same crap. No disrespect to these entities. I mean, and obviously they're more powerful than us. So I say that with a, a light heart and, and a comical nature here, but this is just a reality. It's a scripted reality. And it's part of, here's the simulation. So I, I decided to, this is from Cyprus. So I decided to look up Cyprus. Here are the latitude coordinates and longitude. And look at what you get. Not only do you get 33, copper's 33 in numerology. It's the red queen, but you get the 35. 35 is tied to the word simulation. And I, I know I'm supposed to be delivering this information to you folks because you see my birthday is on the 35th day of the year. And here's my birth card telling you you're trapped and limited down here. It doesn't mean like you should freak out. Surrendering to your code. What is your code? A lot of you don't even know what you're doing here. You don't even know what you're supposed to be doing because you don't study yourself. You don't break yourself down. You don't know what's running you. And it's a sliding scale. But I mean, these are dead giveaways. <clears throat> and Cyprus tied to this copper and blood. And, and then when you take the 35 and 33, another way to do this, and you should be looking up your latitude, longitude, the hospital you were born in, the house you live in right now, school you went to, all this stuff. These are all part of your code. But then you take it and you add it up and you're going to get this very, very important element. This is a big bridge and a big clue. 35 and 33 is going to give you 68, and it's tied to this element called erbium. And erbium, I have it in pink for a very specific reason. And the dead giveaway for this, and why I know the yod heh vah -Heh is, the, is is Yaldabaoth, and Yaldabaoth is the Yod, and the, 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 the God of the Bible is Yaldabaoth, the Demiurge. 
make no mistake about it, it's this 166. So we go to this erbium on the periodic table, and you'll notice that it has the pink. You see? It's got the pink, and then you come down to the uses and properties, and this is what it'll tell you. The image reflects the use of the element in producing pink glazes. Now, I know you may look at that like, oh, that's not a big deal, but when you know what you're looking for, and I'm gonna show you what that pink is. So you go down to the, um, you go down to the oxidation states and isotopes, the oxidation states and isotopes, and you'll notice that here's the 166. The 166 isotope has 33% of the natural abundance. These are all subtle clues, but you can see it's the red queen. And when you go to numerology and you type in the word tetragrammaton, bam, there it is. It's the 166. You, you can't miss this now, folks. And the 47 is the tetragrammaton in the Chaldean. And why I showed this, this is what runs Washington, D.C. It's the tetragrammaton. That's what runs it. It's not man running it. It's not the masons running it. They are being used by whatever created this reality, the demiurge. That's what they're being used by. And this, this solidifies it right here. So erbium is pink, tied to the tetragrammaton. It's tied to the fallen angel story as well. I'm gonna get into that in a little minute, but it's also tied to the Simpsons. Why did the Simpsons, why was a pink car chosen? I mean, you're gonna get, you know, you'll get into, uh, you'll get into um, uh, Lady Gaga's album, Chromatica, and there's pink on there. But, you know, and people say, oh, it's Andrinochrome. Maybe, because it may be linked to that. But The Simpsons, why is it pink? Well, I think it's pink because it's telling you it's, you're living in hell. You're in the box. And this, the, why are these characters yellow? It's the referencing the sun. And he's got the donut always. The donut's the O, and there's the oxygen. I mean, you can't miss this. Hell is 16. Pink is 16. The 16th element is sulfur. Representing duality. Sulfur is, is, it burns. Reacts violently with water. We're made up of water. And you're living in hell. And then you get this oxygen, which is 15 slash 16. And there's the donut. There's the O. Tied to the blood type O. Maybe the first starting point of our blood. Chasing that donut. Chasing hell. Chasing the machinations of, of keeping you busy. Chasing the Mr. Smiths. Keeping you busy stuck down here in this reality. So that's all this says. So are we are a lot of people just following a wolf in sheep's clothing? Are they, are that, is that what they're doing? So I decided this is a very important piece of it all the, to the end this category. But the, what's the wolf in sheep's clothing? Wolf in sheep's clothing is going to give you 90, which is going to tie to actually Thorium and Jesus. Check, check out my Christ battery. I think that story is going to put you right back into the box. Make something so ironclad beautiful, and you would never blink an eyelash. And of course, what's the alternative? Well, I'm not going to vote for the devil, so I'm going to vote for Jesus. What's the better alternative? But what if both keep you, they're both two sides of the same coin, and they're just going to put you right back into the game again? Anyway, wolf and sheep. It's the wolf and sheep's clothing. It's the wolf combining with the sheep. Look at what number it is. It's the 50. And here's the connecting point. 50 in the string of pi occupies digits 31 and 32. Simple math, 31 and 32, 63. We go right back to copper again. So what is the wolf and sheep's clothing? The Gnostic Demiurge, the Tetragrammaton, the yod heh Judaism, Christianity, all of it, it's all tied together, folks, all of it. You want to be free? Stop giving your energy to these things, then you'll be free. There's no, you don't need anybody to save you. If that story never existed, are you just going to be a, a ding dong? Are you just going to be an ass? And just treat people like shit because there's no one to save you? Folks, the wolf in sheep's clothing is religion. It's all religions, all of them. They're all run by the same origin. It's designed to keep you inside this reality. And, and, and it doesn't matter anyway because man's being used. There may be a way to get unused. And then maybe it's becoming aware of this information, but that's for a different story. But lastly, uh, here's just more solidification. How about that 29? Tied to Yaldabaoth in copper. We'll decide we looked at the 50. Well, 29 
right back to where we started. 29 appears at 186 and 187. You add 186 and 187 up and look at what you get. I mean, this is the comedy right here. Talk wolf in sheep's clothing. And Yaldabaoth 29 is the 74th prime number. And you go right back to alchemy. And what is the 74th hour? Well, of course, the comedy, the stand-up comedy that the architect is. Let's just make it the wolf. It's Wolfram, which is tied to the sun. It's tied to the sun, folks. That gives you life. The light bringer. Lights, camera, action. We're in a movie. You're in a movie. I mean, even the word Satan, which is 3.1, which is 31415, when you do the alchemology, it's going to give you 29. Satan is time. You only get so much time. But there's the wolf in sheep's claw. You can't miss it. <laughs> you can't miss it. So let's get into the next topic called blood box. What is the blood box? Well, it's the man in the box. It's me and you, man, woman. It's the man in the box. And you know, this is how comical this reality is. How I know mankind's being used and they just follow a script. Because you see, this album came out in 1991. Notice the 19 and the 91, which is a, a, a kind of a, a permutation of one another or a, uh, um, uh, a palind palindrome for the numbers. But this album came out and I remember when it came out, I went, I was on, I was in living in London. I was in the military and I went to see them in London to, for this album. So I know it very well. And Alice is in chains. Alice in Wonderland, it's in chains. You're in bondage. You're trapped and limited. And they had a song called Man in the Box. I broke down down in a hole. But how about Man in the Box? You're in the box. Here's the length of the song. Four minutes and 46 seconds. So I decided to convert it. There it is. Four minutes is 240 seconds, 60 times 40. And then you add on the 46 seconds and you get the number 286. And you go right to the 286 on this 113th element called Nihonium. Nihonium was discovered in Japan. That's why it's, and the word for Japan is Nihon. Here's the flag for Japan. What does that look like to you, ladies and gentlemen? They're gonna say it's a sun. But doesn't that look like a blood cell to you? Of course it does. Things have more than one meaning. This is meaning the blood cell, the land of the rising sun. Think about that, what I'm telling you here. We're stuck in the box. Here's all the blood types. All eight of the common known blood types is 286. And it's right here in this 113th element called Neonium, which was discovered in Japan. Are you seeing the, the, the dots connected? This is the blood cell. You're stuck in the box when you become an avatar. This is what this is telling all of us. And the song's length, which I can tell you, they're not sitting down trying to figure, get it like exactly like this. No, mankind is being used. They don't have to do anything. You just do it and it comes out this way. It's proof in the pudding right here. Even the subtlety, 74 words or 74 letters. What's 74? Tungsten, the wolf. Feed the wolf. You can't help it, folks. You can't help to feed the devil. Runs this reality because you are the devil. It's, you, it, you, it's just all right there. 16 words tied to Sirius, tied to the days of creation. It's all right there, folks. And it's tied to the 100. So is, our, is the first blood type ever created, is it O negative? Why I'm picking O negative? Because O negative is the only blood type that doesn't have the RH factor in it. Maybe you have O negative blood type. And you know, the O is tied to oxygen, which is tied to the devil. Jesus says you are from the, your father, the devil. So there's truth in that. Tied to the tarot card, the devil, as I showed earlier, tied to the word, the element oxygen, which is what we breathe in. But oxygen oxidizes things. It can kill you. But it's, it's all right here, folks. And I mean, it's, there's the 100. Remember, secret teachings of all ages. 
equals the number 100. Did the decode on Manly P. Hall. So let's have some fun with this. I broke this down in my um, random thoughts number six. Let's break it down again. So here are the blood types. 286 through numerology. We go right to this element. Here's the bridge, the clue, tied to nihonium. And it's got 113 protons. And the 113 going into numberempire.com to see if it's a prime number. Bam, it is. Prime numbers are standalone numbers. They're very powerful. It's the 30th prime number. And then we find out what card that's going to be attached to. Well, it's the four of diamonds, which I showed earlier. Tied to the founding date of Jack in the Box. <laughs> tied to the 100 release date. Tied to the guy who discovered Ruthenium, a 44th element, which is tied to the word man in the box. It, it, folks, it's all there telling us the story. And the four diamonds is tied to the four of pentacles, the 68th card in the deck. And this, I mean, this card is all about holding on to things. Not, and th is this telling us that it's the Demiurge not wanting to let us go? Many of you think we're stuck in a prison. I mean, I got the prison planet out there, but I mean, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful prison. But when people realize, when people see and like, oh, I'm in a prison, I got to get out of here. They start to freak out. You ain't going anywhere until you die, folks. And this, the, the comedy, you know, it's Alice in Wonderland, the 30th, how valuable these medicine cards, 52 cards in the medicine deck came out in 1988, animals, insects, reptiles, etc. How valuable these have been. I mean, the word Alice is 30. It's, it's man becoming, uh, it's spirit becoming matter. Following the rabbit into time. And you only have so much time. You got to pay up with death. But you're, you're stuck here until you die. It's tied to our blood types. The bloodline. And again, tied to Jack in the Box. The founding date of Jack in the Box. February 21st. Well, it's the four diamond. The, there's the box. The cube is right there on the card. The card's a square, for God's sakes. And when you get down here, you live inside Pandora's box. That's where the Greek mythology story comes from. Pandora's box. And, you know, perhaps the Demiurge, the god of this world, the god that created this world. Well, it doesn't want to let you go. The, the, play, the game needs players. The Truman Show. I don't want to play anymore. In case I don't see you. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Walks out the door. You know? But are we going to have that option? Or do we just get recycled back in based upon leveling up? That's why you got to be the best little devil you can be. You can't take any chances. Be a really good human being. But this is just all the comedy right here. I mean, the fast food restaurant, the guy, the guy Robert, the guy who created this, he doesn't have all this with the stuff that I'm showing you here. He didn't found the thing February 21st because he knew it was tied to this card. Come on, folks. These people are being used. It's all part of the script. And are we just living out a nightmare? I mean, nightmare's 30. Think about that. Are we just living inside of a lucid dream? It's not even real. 30's tied to the word Demiurge. 30's tied to the word Jehovah. 30's tied to the word Nazareth, Jesus of Nazareth. 30's tied to the word Santa Claus. They're all 30's. That movie, Zero Dark 30, you're going to see a lot of 30's you start to pay attention. It's tied to the box. Three is pi, by the way. 3.14, squaring the circle. Squaring the circle of pi. The box, squaring the circle. And then you're going to get into the fallen angel story. To finalize this, this is written into the script. It's Mount Hermon, according to the story now, that 200 angels fell and they landed in, on Mount Hermon. Look at the latitude longitude of Mount Hermon. Remember what Cyprus was, 35 degrees north and 33 degrees east. This is a flip. This is a mirror now. You get Cyprus at 35 degrees north and 33 degrees east. And then Mount Hermon is a flip of that. And it's 33 degrees north, 35 degrees east. And there's the jack-in-the-box card through the tarot. 33 plus 35, 68. Tied to the tetragrammaton. Tetra meaning four. And gram-aton, thank you, Jordan Maxwell. Aton is A10, the sun god. It's the sun becoming man. Tool had the song called Numa. It says right in their lyrics, I'm not saying that they're the boss and the authority on how this reality works, but even they say it's the sun becoming, the spark. You got one foot nailed down. Just got to have fun with this, folks. Is this story even real? I don't know. 
But I do know that we're here living out this reality right now. And it can be fun. It can be shitty. And the, the, the bleed over, because these numbers all double up. You get the 68 and 69. These numbers encroach. So these numbers typically will bleed into one another. 67 will bleed into the 78. Well, the 68 will bleed into the 69. I mean, if you add these up, you're going to get the bleed over. And I mean, we go right back to the Royal Star of the Lion and the 69. So you can see that there's no separation with this. It's the architect coming down here to play out its own game. I mean, yeah, you could say, well, the angels disobeyed and they got kicked out of heaven, but I mean, that's just part of the script. It's just part of the script. So I decided to, as I did with McDonald's in my Superstar Part 3 decoded, I decided to look up the address just to see how scripted this reality was. The address of the first ever Jack in the Box location. The first one ever. Here's a picture of it in Sandy, sunny San Diego. And look at the address, the full address, the full numerology of it is the 155. And this, this is the comedy. <laughs> 155 is found at the 314th decimal. That's pi. See, it's squaring the circle. The square and the circle. The square is the box. The circle is earth, the pi. And then you get the triangle number, the, tri the trigonal. Those three shapes. But look at the comedy. Right there. You think the guy who created this right here was sitting down and decided to pick this location and sign the lease and bought the building, whatever he did before, because he knew he's like, oh, I'm going to do the numerology and it's got to be 155 because I got to have it tied to the 314. But folks, you know how ludicrous that is for me to say that? It's just too funny. This, all this is part of the script. And the comedy is the freaking, is the jack in the box head on the top. It's a clown telling you it's a clown it's a joke don't take it so serious so when you break this down even more you could start to see how these other esoteric occult measures play out in alchemy because you know 314 and the 155 tied into pi is tied to this element right here the 64th element the gd element the gadolinium and you know, it has several atomic weights, 157 is its average, but 155 it does have. And there's the connecting point tied to the first ever location of Jack in the Box. And it's telling you, you're in a movie. This is the icon the Royal Society of Chemistry used for this element. 64 is how many squares are on a chessboard. So this is not demonic, folks. This, stop saying oh, it's Masonic or that's retarded thinking. It means duality. It means you're stuck down here in duality. That's what it means. And 64 is tied to our DNA. There's the fish right there. Want to go fishing? Jesus Christ and the apostles. 153 was the fish they caught. It's one of the uh, isotopes of gadolinia. <laughs> it's just, we're in a movie, folks. And we've all gone down in a hole. You see, this was a huge clue because this right here, pull forward, Jack will speak to you. And I want to, where did this come from? Um, before I show you the breakdown of that, let me show you this. Here is the breakdown of Jack in the Box and the history of it. You can go research all this. Again, I broke this down right here. If you want to watch, please watch it. Jack in the Box decoded. But the big takeaway is, let me just narrate this for you. Just follow along. It says, while the drive through concept was not new, Jack in the Box innovated a two-way intercom. Think about what I'm telling you. Intercom to communicate. The first major chain to use an intercom and the first to focus on drive through The intercom allowed much faster service than a traditional drive-up window. While one customer was being served at the window, a second and even a third customer's order could be taken and prepared. Here's the takeaway. A giant clown making you laugh projected from the roof and a smaller clown head sat atop the intercom where a sign said, pull forward, Jack will speak to you. And that was the clue. These are all clues you can decode from. Pull forward. And there it is. It's the 114. And that's all I needed to show the scripted reality because it's tied to this element right here called indium going inward indium is the 49th element 49 is going to reduce to the 13 which is going to reduce to the four the four is the cube 
And the big takeaway, and I decoded this, more Alice in Chains, man in the box, down in a hole. Down in a hole is 49. It's spirit becoming matter. And I found this from, big shout out to Jason over at the Archaics channel. He had it on his Harley and I asked him about it. What does that mean? He says, just take pi and divide it by 360, which is a perfect circle, which is pi. And that's what you get. And that was the clue. And this is all part of the scripted reality here, folks. All of it. Telling you we go down into the hole and we become man or woman to play out this game called life. And you ain't getting out until you die. And we don't know what happens after that. We just don't know what happens after that. So let's get back into these blood types as we go down into the hole and become Jack or Jill. So we get this 286 found from all eight blood types, the common known blood types. Here's more of the script. Using pure mathematics, we bring the 286 into the digits of pi. It occupies digits 73, 74, and 75. And here is the typical uh, pH of the blood. And here's what is normal. The blood is around 7.3 to 7.4. It is slightly alkaline, meaning it's slightly love. To win the game, you want to be lukewarm. That's how you get out of the game, by the way. I showed that in my Prison Planet Part 2. This is lukewarm right here. Spit you out of my mouth. 7.3 to 7.4. There it is. It's right there with the blood. That's why I know Chaldean's the top dog. You ain't going to find this in any of the ciphers. Not connecting to the string of pi. I mean, connecting to the pH scale, the blood. So let's keep going. So it's tied to this element called nitrogen because we're talking in the sevens. So the blood is very specific. And it's the seven. Seven is the great balancer. It's the middle path. The middle path. It's the lukewarm path to get spit out of the mouth, spit out of the game. Neutrality. And it's tied to this element right here called nitrogen. Nitrogen is the dominant element that makes up the air. 78, 79%. And there's pi right there. It's just a permutation of that. Seven is the last chakra linked to the crown, tied to our blood. And it's tied to the letter N, which is the 14th letter. There's the 14 for the weight of nitrogen. And 14 is tied to the word time. Because when you enter into an avatar, you now have a race against the clock, which is time. And your blood over time gets infiltrated, gets dirty, loses its, you know, luster. And whatever else happens. It's also tied to this card right here in the tarot. How valuable the tarot is. Because it we think in pictures. And the tarot is the temperance card, the 14th, because you see the body runs between 7.3 and 7.4. There's the two chalices telling you. It's right there. This is in the script. Tied to our blood. Tied to the blood types. Tied to nitrogen. Tied to oxygen. It's in there as well. Oxygen will kill you though. Oxidation. The devil. It's all there, but you gotta have, it's a bat, the body runs on balance, 7.3, 7.4. So it's right there. It's a very, very beautiful thing to see the tarot and how it shows its expressions on the world stage. So let's keep going. So this 286 found from these eight common blood types is tied to this element right here called Nihonium. I showed this tied to Japan and the land of the rising sun with the blood dot on it. It's the 113th element. And so I decided to pull up the 113. We did the 286. 113 is found at the 364th, 365th, 366. There's the Gregorian calendar, the solar lunar calendar. They're all there. And when you add the two elements up, here's the, here's the takeaway here. When you add up the two elements that link up to the 7.3, 7.4, it's tantalum and tungsten. King tantalum and the wolf. Feed the wolf. When you add these up, they match. When you add them up in the trusty calculator, you get the number 364. And that's the match to the 113, which is right there in this element, which is tied to our blood. Right there. It's all right there, folks. Just clearly see how alchemy and 
numerology and the science of numbers and mathematics and the pH scale of the blood. It's all right there. And it gets into the fallen angel story. So I have just two slides on this. And I showed this in my uh, Manly P. Hall decoded. And the word disobedience equals 45. And the fallen angel story, we're disobedient. And the story goes anyway. Did it really happen? I don't know, but it's in the story. It's written in the script. And then Pandora's box gets created. The shit storm happens. Pandora's box is the shit storm. And it's opened up by Epimetheus, the afterthought in the Greek mythology. See, Prometheus, now he was forethought, but Epimetheus is afterthought, and he's the one who opened up the box that Zeus sent down for punishment. Yeah, how fun is that? If that's really the way the story works. See, people don't want to believe in Greek mythology, but they believe in theology, and they can, you can't prove either one, but they're going to side with theology because they've been indoctrinated. But, but mythology, oh, no, that's not real. But theology is real, though. <laughs> but here's Pandora's box. It's Saturn's magic cube, Sagic magic square. Each row equals 15, tied to the devil card. Saturn, Satan, pretty simple to, to see that kind of stuff. And when you enter the cube, this is the game of life, you become part of Pandora's box. And the shitstorm happens as soon as you're born into it. And you get all the sinning and the evil and all that stuff. And here's the element to represent that. Remember, 44 is Ruthenium, which is tied to the fallen angel story. But 45 is just one step up. And there's the 102. It's going to be, this is going to be isotope 103. And Chaldean, you add it, take all A through Z. It's 103, as I've been showing. 27th prime number tied to the dragon, which gets hurled down. All that story, right? The fallen angel story. It's all in there with the blood types. So let's now get into the uh, next topic. Thanks for sticking with me. I got two dot topics to go. Are we having fun yet? Let's get into a little bit of Japan because we showed out Japan's tied to the blood types. So let's check out Japan. So Japan's tied to Sirius. So we did our start, are our, our origins tied to Japan? It's Ja and Pan. Japan, when you say it with syllables, Ja praise Ja and then the Greek god Pan is this duality. And Japan is, you know, it's is the Asian cultures. Well, I don't look Asian, but is this where we came from? I, I don't know. But it's tied to Sirius. I mean, the, the, the different ethnic backgrounds to me means mankind was spread out over the earth and created the seeds that way, not from two individuals. That's just ludicrous thinking. But Japan is 16 tied to Sirius. This right here is the, you know, the ejaculation. It's sprouting the seeds. It's, it's causing creation. You could say it's the Big Bang. I'm not saying that's true, but this fits into the narrative. And it's tied to Sirius. So let me break this down because, again, Japan is the land of the rising sun. They got the red dot right on their flag. They're going to say it's the sun, but it's the blood cell. And the land of the rising sun is the number 85. 85 is tied to the number 439. 439 is the 85th prime number. And this 439 is found in the string of the golden ratio tied to the sun. And it's tied to the number 16. You see, 16 occupies digits 219, 220. That's going to give you a total of 439. And that goes right back to... See how tightly woven this is? So there is no mistake about this at this point. There's a big heavy tie to Japan and there's a big heavy tie to Sirius. And I'm showing you this information and one of the very first tattoos I ever got was a samurai on my right shoulder. And the samurai is from Japan. More part of my part of more of my ridiculous coding, my scripted reality. But the 85 is the land of the rising sun. I mean, you, it's not, to the primes and tied to the golden ratio. This is undeniable here. Tied to the 16 and Sirius in Japan. Tied to the Tower card. So we just keep going with this. And, you know, the Greek spelling for Sirius, it's the 85. So we now have confirmations with this. The 85 tied to Japan, perhaps where our origins or part of the origins of where we came from, our bloodline came from, is the samurai. You know, the Japan culture. Ja and Pan. You know, there's there's tie into that, and then these are just bridges. So I'm not saying our we started from Japan, but you can see how Sirius, the land of the rising sun, Sirius is the sun. It's a star. This is undeniable now, for me anyway. And the and this is like creation, starting over. Boom, you know. 
the fall of man, the fallen angel story coming out of that tower as they're, as they're being birthed into this world. You know, so it's just all right there. And so this kind of, I think this is my, I got two slides left for this category. And then we're going to move on to the last category to finalize this bloodline decoded. But here is, this was a big gem for me. Shared this with my telegram group, decode your reality telegram group. The Greek spelling for Sirius is 85. You bring in, and we tie it to this element right here called astatine or astatine. It's very, it means unstable. Think about what I'm telling you. It means unstable. The 85. The, ID, the 85 is a mirror of the 58. 58 is puppet master. 85 is also going to reduce down to the 13, which is going to reduce down to the 4, which is the box. 4 means the cube. I was born in the 4th. <laughs> I was destined to show you this information. I know that for sure. And, you know, th thanks, Flynn, again, for bringing these out in our Telegram group. The, the, I, I just pulled these out. I've had these on my computer for a long time. Just don't really use them. But, you know, here's Crowley's representation of the tower. Let me just zoom into this one <clears throat> to show you. I mean, there's Sirius right there, and there's Yaldabaoth. And on one side of the, the eye is Yaldabaoth, and then one side's the dove. To me, this is representing duality. And is this the great mother, Sophia? I think so. And then you get her son, Yaldabaoth, the Gnostic Demiurge that creates this reality, which creates all the religions, the Bible, and all them, and everything. Gets all the worship. No separation. And here's just some of the big takeaways for this big word. I mean, Yaldabaoth in the English is 89. Yaldabaoth is 29 in the Chaldean. The Red Queen is 33. You got the triple sevens, the jackpot in Las Vegas, the trigonal, the 115s tied to the Aquarius and uh, Leo the Lion, the fifth sign, and 24 is tied to the 89. 89 is the 24th prime number. So the, you, these are very, bit, this is most definite now. This is not even a maybe or a possible. These are absolutes in my research career is that this serious element is and Crowley saying that the Yaldabaoth was birthed from Sirius. I would have to agree. So the Lord of Sirius is Yaldabaoth, which is the Tetragrammaton, which is tied to Lucifer as well. The light bringer brings the light from Sophia, all tied together. You know, and this 89 is big because it's the 24th prime number, and there it is. And the word Thomas is 24. Thomas is, you know, Lucifer. Thomas John Ellis. They cast to play Lucifer. You know, and I mean, it's just, you, it's, this is a big one right here for me, folks. This is, this is a, a humdinger here, right here. And, and, and this is, these are absolutes for me now. I know, no, without, with absolute certainty. <clears throat> and then you get into the Greek spelling for Sophia. Remember the first robot that got uh, the nod for a human being was Sophia. Sophia was the first robot that is now a citizen. Okay, from Sirius. And you got Sirius A and Sirius B. You can decode those as well, but here's the original spelling. There it is. Make no mistake about it. It's, and it causes the destruction. It causes the reset, the all-seeing eye. So when next time you see some celebrity put up the, all, the, 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 the triangle, don't, don't immediately say, oh, there's the devil. There's the devil. Folks, because now you're going to be looking ignorant. Okay, you're going to be looking ignorant saying that now. Unless, of course, you want to refute everything I'm saying and go back to your indoctrination, or at least not take anything into consideration what I'm saying. These are my truths, remember. I'm not going to force them on you, but just remember what I'm showing you here and the next time you want to go point the finger at something. Mankind is being used, folks. I mean, look at the connections on this. Sirius is 16. Sophia is 16. In the original spelling, here are the cards to represent that. 16th element, sulfur, representing hell. And here is the Egyptian spelling of Sirius called Sopdet, and that's 31, and it's, it's right there in sulfur. The S is the serpent, where the serpent came from. Yaldabaoth came from, the Demiurge, Yaldabaoth, Yode Vahe. God of the Bible. Sulfur. 
16 is hell. That's right. When you and, and it just may be Sophia sending itself down here to experience out its own game. Or Yaldabaoth doing that. I don't know how many fractals up or down it's going to go. These are all obviously very abstract concepts. So let's get into the last topic now. Thanks for sticking with me. I know this has been a long one, but this has been an amazing ride for me personally to deliver this. Been working on this sucker for days. Let's get into the last topic now, the O. You know, it's interesting because you know you got um, the great show Ozark, which always, if you watch that show, it always sh it showed in the beginning of its episodes, the O, and Ozarks is in Missouri, and Missouri has the only area code that has the 314, which is Pi which is what my area code is now, because my last name is Payette, which is why I'm supposed to be showing you this information as the tour guide. It's all connected. The joke, there's a, you know, it's all connected. I got more to show on that and the social security numbers and how it's tied to the Federal Reserve Banks. Mine's in St. Louis, of course, because my life is completely scripted. So let's now get into this blood type here and the O, right? The O negative. The O negative, if you have O negative, okay, great. But please don't think you're, you know, and I'm, and I'm saying this with a lot of fun here, okay? Please don't get a messiah complex because you may have the originating blood type. Because this can mean so many things. And I'm just having fun with that because I think a lot of you know how I stand on, like, thinking like you're a chosen one or, and I'm not here to take that away from you. But I, I'm, I'm all, everybody's even here. Right? Everybody has a job to do. So we just gotta have fun with this information. I'm not putting you down and I'm certainly never gonna take anything away from what you found in your code. But let me tell you, I can decode, I can decode anybody and show you how powerful you are, how weak you are. Everybody has their job to do, okay? But those of you that have the O negative blood type, it's the only, this is really interesting. I didn't even know this until I started decoding this topic. It's the only type that does not contain the RH factor. And that RH factor is tied to rhodium, which is Pandora's box. It's really interesting. So is this the very first blood type ever created? It's the most common. O positive is, I think, but O negative is the, is the one that only one that doesn't create the RH factor. And it's the 37. Now there's the, the O positive is 37. So that's not going to give us an answer. But if you take the O and you bring it into numerology. So I just want to show, because here's the big takeaway. Let me get rid of the English. And here are the four blood types. A, B, O, and AB. And you're gonna notice they're all different. It's one, two, seven, three. Oh, there's no, it's not in any order, but let's just go, O would be first. So we have O and then A and then B and then AB, the rarest. I would say it's probably in that order. But notice they're all different. Seven is tied to nitrogen. Seven is tied to part of the air that we breathe. Seven is tied to the chakras. Seven is tied to the 17, because remember, 17 is the seventh prime number. So is O the type that is the very originating blood type? Is that what we're seeing here? Well, let's keep going. I thought this was really interesting, and I can't remember who it was that pointed this out. So thank you very much. Credit goes to you, but someone had posted something on my social media about typo negative. This is the type that has doesn't have the RH factor. And they said, oh, the, check out the band. They sent a link, so thank you for showing me that. So I decided to throw this in here. And, the, and look at how being used these guys were. Here is typo negative, the band, the, the blood type that doesn't have the RH factor. Here are the four founding members and their birthdays. And you add them up and you're gonna get the number 58. <laughs> The, the puppet master. <laughs> the only band with typo negative and the only b b blood that doesn't have the RH factor. And these guys get the puppet master with their birthdays. And then when you uh, do their numerology, the subtlety 61 tied to Prometheum, the Titan that stole fire, molded men out of clay. You know, the subtleties, it's 214. And you go to the number empire.com and you type in that 214 and you'll notice that this number here is the 214th prime number. What do you see right there? Yeah, the 137, which is tied to the lights, camera, action, tied to the 33. Just go have some fun. It's just all scripted and coded, these people right here. And I could have shown you their cards, which 
is going to give us give you more clues tied to the 114 tied to down on a hole. But anyway, I thought this was just comical and fun. But let's get back into this O negative blood type. And notice that it's tied to the word bloodline. Now, I know all the blood types are going to be tied to the bloodline because so there has to be an origination. And the O positive is 37. But so I said it's the, it's the type you are. The negative and positive is going to give you additional information, but it's tied to Sirius. It's the eye in the sky. The word shepherd equals 37. The word sheep is 26. That's tied to iron. But the eye in the sky, are we just all from Sirius? Is that what this is saying right here? So the separating point is, if this O negative is the very starting point of our origins, which, you know, again, O is the one that's you can donate all the blood. So it's, a, it's the well-rounded blood type. The O is the perfect circle, pi. But then you have the other seven types. Are these after the fact? And if, is, if there were angels that really came down here and became man and woman, did they come with them, these blood types? Did we start out with this and then we got infiltrated with this? Well, let's see. This is just for fun, right? So you get the 249. 49, there's that down in a hole. But it's tied to the bloodline in the 37, and I'm going to get into that 249 in just a minute. But here's the 37 and this element, rubidium. And, you know, again, if you've been following this great research, this element right here, the 37, I just want to go to this and show you, just to show you the clue. Here's the 37th element. What do we see right here? Well, it's the all-seeing eye. I mean, this is undeniable. And there's the 85. What was 85? It was tied to Sophia. So Sophia is Sirius. Sirius is Sophia. And it's tied to the all-seeing eye. And it's tied to the loop. 19, 37, 46. And do we ever get out of this? So the all-seeing eye is the 37. 19 is our sun. And what is 46? It's Earth. It's Earth. It's also tied to Sirius as well through Protactinium, but but there's the loop with our bloodline. Do we ever get out of this game? I don't know. Maybe not. So that's why I say be the best little devil you can be. Ensure that you're going to level up, not level down. That's the whole key. So I decided to look at where this blood type is, uh, where it came from, where it's connected to, and using my methodology. I decided to look at it through the eyes of this element, chlorine. Chlorine is the element that has an isotope number 37. It's 36.996. This is called isotope 37. Remember, the, the, the words operating system, operating is 36. And 17 is the star card. So we operate the system through our eyes, which gives energetic currency, and we feed the battery because we're cells in the battery. And it's tied to the game of life because you see this element, the reason why I have it this lime green color is because it comes from this Greek word chloros, and it means greenish yellow. What other elements tied to this green and yellow? Well, you go back to the periodic table, and you go down to this element right here, and there's the clue. It's the 59th element called praseodymium and it's the means the green twin so when you come down here and incarnate you have the kundalini that rises up and it's the twin it's the yin yang it's the two twins castor and pollux which is the third sign of gemini gemini is the prison bars there's the prison bars right there and this is do means duality it's all right there in the clues tied to chlorine and that's why I have it as this, and you know, a tennis ball is lime green color because you can pick it up with the eyes. This is the first color that we see when it comes into the, the cones of the eyes, this yellowish greenish color. And it's tied to the star card. So the star is born, yeah. So is O negative the first blood type that mankind was ever derived from? Maybe. It's definitely tied to the star card and the star is born. And we now know it's tied to chlorine. Chlorine's a deadly gas. It's kind of like the comedy there, but it's tied to the, we have the operating system. We have the Sirius 37 and the bloodline 37. And this may be the, or, the origins of our blood types is the O type, which, you know, is the perfect circle. And when we keep going, the 37th card in the, med, uh, the um, medicine deck, the cards of illumination, it's the Jack in the box card. The Jack diamonds, remember I showed you tied to the 19, 19, 37, 46. 
I mean, it's all right here in chlorine. The clues, the connecting points. And kind of, you know, to me, undeniable. These clues our origins is the 17. And, you know, this element right here, okay, so I'm like, well, it's the 17 and it's tied to our blood types. Maybe the origination of it. Well, who discovered it? Well, this guy right here. And where did, where did he discover it at? Well, this place in Sweden. It's called Uppsala. So I decided to look at the latitude longitude. Here's the script. The undeniable freaking script. 17, seventh prime, tied to our seven chakras, tied to the first blood type, tied to the operating system. And look at what the freaking latitude longitude is. I mean, are you kidding me? What is 59? Go right back to here. And it's the green twin. Look at the color they use. Same as the green for chlorine, this yellowish green color. There's the clue and there's the 17. 59 is the game of life, which is right there. 17 is the star card. And we get born into the matrix, the mother tricks, the mother playing tricks on you, the matrix, the matrix. The word life is 17. The word gold is 17. We're being used for energetic gold. It's led to gold. The word fish is 17. We're all fish down here. Two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl year after year. There's the origination of it. These are all just bridges, but they tell you the story. And, you know, here's some of the isotopes for chlorine. One of them is 35. 35 is, of course, the simulation. The abbreviation of chlorine is CH. There's the 35. 35 is tied to my birthday, which is the Trapped and Limited card. It's tied to our blood types, folks. I mean, look at the, look at the sinks on this. And you be the judge. I'm not going to force anything on you, but you be the judge. You can clearly see it. And then when you add up the latitude, longitude from where they discovered this element in Sweden, linking to the first origins of the first blood type, perhaps is 59 plus 17 is 76. What is 76? It's osmium. What's osmium? It's the Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz, which, you know, is follow the yellow brick road and then get to the Emerald City. And if you take yellow and green, you put it together, what color are you going to get? It's that yellowish green color. Yellowish green color. And I mean, if you use pure mathematics, 17 in the string of pi occupies digits 95 and 96. 95 is the I am, is the am. 95 is a mericium, it's the am. It's mankind, it's the, the architect coming down here to become man. 95 and 96, 191. It's right there. So what runs over us? The Wizard of Oz. What's the Wizard of Oz? The devil. What's the devil? Yaldabaoth, Tetragrammaton, yod heh they're all in there. And the planets are going to be in there. Saturn's going to be in there. They're all these things are all going to be included in, this, in these concepts. But they all mean the same thing. It's just we get the pictures through the movies and the alchemical representations, but we get pure mathematics and alchemy and pi, and they're all bridges to tell us the story of our origins. <clears throat> So let's get back to the breakdown of the separation between perhaps the first blood type and then the additional ones through the, you know, procreation process. Maybe the fallen angel story is in there where they came down and made, I don't know how a giant's going to mate with a little tiny human being called the female at our size, but who knows? How does an angel that's a giant come down and mate with a, a female who's really tiny it looks like a grasshopper i don't know how that works but anyway here's the separation point so let's look into this one now i i found this one now there are many uh there are other elements i shouldn't say many there are other elements that will share this isotope but i'm going to show you why this one i feel is the, the proper one to to look at notice they both start with the letter c c is the third letter c and c is going to give you 33. californium is the element that is synthetically made it's not natural. So think about what I'm showing you. Californium is a synthetic element, not made natural. Is this the fallen angel story? And then you break this 249 down and you see this element was made 
not just in California, but in Berkeley, California. So I decided to do the distance between, as I have done in many other decodes, just to show you the script and how tightly woven this script is and how this is absolute support that mankind is being used. We are not running this script. We're following a script that was already written. So the distance between Uppsala, where chlorine was first discovered, tied to the O blood type, and then Berkeley, California, which is matching the 249 with the other seven types, Look at what we find here. 5,309 miles, 0.52 miles is the shortest distance between these two cities. And bring that into numberempire.com. Look at what we got, folks. Feed the wolf. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what story's true, what matter, what this. Folks, it's all a script that we're playing out. It's all scripted. Check out my Wizard of Oz. I did a similar thing with this, with the distance between. I did this with the uh, the White Rabbit Resurrections, the Matrix 4, between Keanu Reeves and, and um, Trinity, <laughs> Carrie Moss, how ridiculously coded and scripted their lives are. <laughs> this is more comedy to me, because I. what else are you going to do with this? You're going to get mad at it? You're going to get pissed off? Folks, it's a joke. This is feed the wolf <laughs> from the distance between perhaps the start. I mean, I'm not saying we started here, but this is what would the origination leads to is this element here, which is found in Uppsala. And then the other remaining blood types is found in Berkeley. <laughs> and it's, it's, it goes right back to feed the wolf. So when we do the alchemy of these two elements with the protons, Right here, using the trusty calculator, you're gonna get the number 115. That's gonna be tied to Moscovium and the 289 tied to Yaldabaoth. But it, the funny thing is, is when you do the numerology of Uppsala, Sweden and Berkeley, California, that's a match of the 115. <laughs> it's just more of the script. And then how about the gentlemen that are involved in the discoveries of these two elements? Now, Carl Wilhelm Scheele discovered chlorine and then these guys here, Albert, Glenn, Kenneth, and Stanley, they were all part of discovering the element Californium and look at the numerology of their names. 333. Remember the loop. 1937-46 is actually 1920, 37, 38, 46, and 47, which is going to give you the 333. Three, three. The script. The loop that perhaps we never get out of. You just got to level up. Be the best little devil you can be down here, folks. That's the best suggestion I could give anybody. Be a good person. Go help people. Stop being so selfish. Don't be an asshole. That's how you level up in this game. At least check it off your list. Anyway, folks, what did you see during this presentation? A very long one. I have no idea where I'm even at at this point, but a very long presentation. I appreciate each and every one of you for checking this out. But what did you see? I, I probably should have broken this up into two parts, but nonetheless, this was some of the most thought-provoking information I've ever discovered. It opened up a lot of doors for me and my decoding. I hope it did the same for you. would love to hear your comments, what you saw. Please keep your comments coming. All you great decoders out there around the world, thank you to each and every one of you for all your donations, your Patreons, all you new Patreons. Thank you so much. You support this channel. Those of you that are interested in a reading, I do have selected dates available. Just send me an email for that, decodeyourreality at gmail.com. So anyway, that's all I got for today. My name is Logan for Decode Your Reality. And as I always say, till next time, we will see you later.